Hey guys, welcome to my third system test with the Silent Night SK4 panel. As you saw by the thumbnail, I have a pretty crazy setup today. Starting off with uh, something that isn't quite as crazy. A Notifier NBG12L pole station. I got this from my school. This was one of the uh, newest pole stations in the building. Probably the only modern one. SK4 panel is here, of course. I did not clear the battery trouble only because... <coughs> I've been told there's a hack where you could put 24 volt power to this circuit and that supposedly clears it, but there's also the risk of damaging the panel and uh, I don't really want to damage it more than it already is. So I'm just going to leave it as is. Now for the horn strobes, I have three system sensor horn strobes, a pretty rare one here, a P2RH-LF, low frequency sounder horn strobe set on temp three. A very common alarm, a Spectral Alert Advance P2R, set on temp 3 medium volume. And a, another rare one, a CHSW set to temp 3 high volume. And this is a chime strobe. I made a YouTube short where I put it on a coded pulse station and it didn't like it. Now I believe these have a setting where they can be used with such a pulse station, but I have to check to see if this is one of those models. I don't remember. So, uh, yeah, and I put it on high volume, so it hopefully has a fighting chance where you can hear it over these two, because this beast is quite loud, and I don't want this to be on full volume, because we know how loud that is. So those are the horn strobes. And for smoke detectors, I have a pair of system sensor ones. This particular one is a Simplex rebrand, a 2098-9577. I believe it's from 1991, if I read the date correctly. And it's kind of weird that Simplex rebranded a, sim a system sensor smoke detector. So that's a pretty cool piece. And then a system sensor 2100D. These used to be pretty common. I think they're being phased out now. But uh, I got this one from a system upgrade. This was one of the only conventional smokes on an addressable system. So that was kind of weird. <laughs> I'm not sure what year that one's from. This one was an eBay find, as was the rest of these. Well, actually... I don't know if that one was eBay or not. I think I got that one from elsewhere. But anyway, let's set it off, shall we? So, oh yeah, and all the strobes are set to their brightest settings. This is a high intensity strobe, so that's at 185, and that's your typical 115. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Ouch. <laughs> so this Silent Night panel has a built-in has built-in sync protocols, such as System Sensor Sync. And it works great on these strobes. All three of them are synchronized. So what we're gonna do is reset it here. If I oh that's silence. There we go. Panel, can you shut your door please? Thank you. Always nice to have a responsible panel. Oh yeah, I'm gonna silence this first. And here's what we're gonna do for the next for next part of the test. I'm gonna do this dip switch here. There we go. So that should have disabled NAC1, which is the horn strobe and the low frequency sounder, leaving just the chime strobe. So what we're gonna do now is test the smoke detectors, and hopefully you can hear the chime strobe better. Start off with this one. Silence that. On high volume, that's actually very shrill, so it's actually kind of loud. And then we'll do the simplex detector. This one you have to hold for five seconds before it activates. It's a little annoying. And this will reactivate the system even though it's silent. There we go. that and then we'll reset it back to normal we'll re-enable that knack there we go see 
acknowledge button. A little confusing. I'm trying to keep it in focus because it's a little hard to do that one, <laughs> doing three different things at once. But uh, there you have it. This was very painful and those strobes burned my retinas out. But uh, you know what? You got to do something crazy every now and then. So uh, thank you guys for watching and have a great day.